welcome, beautiful soul family. It's Annette, aka Shorty Love. I am back with a light language channeling and healing transmission for negative thought forms, helping us to remove and dissolve, detach from, and repel negative thought forms. Along your journey of awakening, expansion, and ascension, you will come to realize that the more you heal, the more layers that you go in and you do the work on, the more consciously aware you will become of your habits, your limiting belief systems, your habitual ways of doing things, your patterns of thinking, and any negative thought forms that have been lingering in the background that have been there subliminally or subconsciously or unconsciously. And you will begin to start to become very aware of the lower mind. So obviously the mind has all different realms of consciousness and depending on where you're vibrating will determine which realm of that consciousness that you are tapped into. So you have your conscious mind, which is when you're consciously aware, you're awake, you know what's happening around you and you can think for yourself, you can choose your thoughts. Sometimes you go into habits and old programs that are coming from the subconscious and you start to believe that they are your conscious thoughts and then you create your reality through those thoughts through constantly thinking them and allowing them to be present. So it's important that when you're consciously awake, not just to have your conscious mind going on autopilot, but to become consciously aware of what it is that you're thinking, to be discerning because we have the power of choice. We can choose what we think about. We can choose the direction of our thoughts in any given moment. We can choose what we focus on. And where your focus is, your energy and attention flows in that direction. And we all know that our mind is so powerful that we can create our realities or part of our reality through thinking thoughts. Obviously, it's not the only way to create our reality because if we manifested everything we thought about, life would probably be <laughs> a complete roller coaster, a complete shit heap <laughs> because of the amount of thoughts that we're constantly thinking on a daily basis and the amount that we're processing on a daily basis. But it does form up part of our reality, the thoughts that we think. If we continue to think them, if we continue to think thoughts of illness and ailments, then we're going to manifest that. If we continue to think thoughts of love, compassion, gaiety, forgiveness, happiness, joy, radiance, then we will manifest that. So it is important to become consciously aware of what you are thinking when you are awake, when you are conscious, when you know what's actually going on around you. Then we have the subconscious mind, which is programmable and it is being programmed by everything you're taking in through the conscious mind. And it is also programmable when you're in the theta state, which is why we listen to affirmations first thing in the morning, or we do the mirror work first thing in the morning when we wake up and see ourselves, or we listen to them prior to going to sleep because that's when they are absorbed most easily. And the subconscious is actually quite active when you're between the ages of zero to seven. So you know how they say children are like a sponge. Everything you say to them at that age, they absorb it. They regurgitate it. They literally mirror it back to you. They're like parrots. So if you say something, they will say it back. If you swear at them, they'll most likely adopt that. If you yell at them, they'll most likely think that that's the way to behave. And they will become the parrot for that. But if you treat them with love, kindness, care and compassion, then they will emanate those behaviors. They will embody those behaviors because they will believe that that's how you should be. That's how you should behave. That's how you should become. And so you've got the subconscious mind, which is running programs in the background that you have consciously taken on as well as unconsciously sometimes when you're asleep your subconscious mind is still taking in information and it's storing that information as memory and that memory continues to repeat and play out every single day so that's why it's very important that when you reprogram your subconscious mind you stay consistent and you do it over a period of at least 21 days because it takes at least 21 days to for your subconscious mind to develop a new 
neural pathway, a new program. And then if you can maintain that habit and the habits and behavioral patterns that come with that new program for 66 days, then you will begin to radiate a new version of yourself. You will begin to embody a new version of yourself. You will begin to have a complete paradigm shift into a new reality, an updated, upgraded level of yourself. It's kind of like with a computer system. If you're running Windows 98 on a brand new computer, it's such an old program that it's going to slow your computer down even if your computer is new. It's going to slow you down from being able to create innovative new things and expand and change and transform and really express yourself in a way that is in alignment with a new timeline, a new grid, a new way of being. It's going to keep you tethered to the old programs that were running. So obviously the Microsoft and the Excel and the PowerPoint back then didn't have the features and capabilities that the Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint have now in the new and updated softwares, in the new and updated programs. So when you update your own programming and you update your own conditioning, then you're able to tap into new resources. You're able to tap into alternative ways of creating things. It's more expansive. You have the ability to express, you have the ability to co-create something that is of a much higher standard because you're operating on a much higher system, a much higher frequency, a much higher way of being. And so that's why it's important to reprogram your subconscious mind because a lot of the reality that you create on a day-to-day -day basis comes from the subconscious. It's just old patterns and programs, old conditions repeating themselves over and over again. But you have the power to consciously change that by affirming new belief systems, new thoughts to yourself by changing the thought forms that you have or that you have held for a really long time. You have the power to look in the mirror and affirm new belief systems, affirm that you are a powerful being, affirm that you are abundant, you are radiant, you are high vibrational, you are healthy, you embody health and wellness. You can affirm that you are joyous, you are unique, you are high vibrational, you are unconditionally loving, you are divine source consciousness in physical form and you have the power and the ability to do anything you are safe you are divinely shielded and protected at all times you have the power to do this so it is time to take your power back and then when we go beyond that when we're able to really understand this connection between the conscious and the subconscious and how we can utilize the time that we are awake and we're conscious and we're doing our day-to-day -day activities to become present in the moment because the more present that you can be that is your gift from the divine the present moment is your gift from the divine the more present you can be the more that you can consciously choose your thoughts the more that you can consciously discern what's coming in, what's coming out, what is yours, what is not yours. So even if other people are projecting negative thought forms onto you or projecting their fears and insecurities and their lack and their triggers onto you, you have the ability to discern in that moment because you are present in the now, because you are present here and you are with yourself right here, right now, you are aligned. You can discern whether or not that thought is yours. You can even discern where it's coming from. When you're that in tune with yourself, you will know who and where it's coming from. And so meditation is a beautiful practice. Breath work, pranayama is a beautiful practice. Yoga is a beautiful practice to bring you into that state of presence, to bring you into that state of alignment with yourself so that you can become more consciously aware, you can become more discerning. And so that you can actually protect and shield yourself. You can choose, you can command and demand your reality. You can prophesize over yourself. You can literally say, if a thought is coming to you, if someone's projecting something onto you, you can literally say, I do not accept this. I repel this. I repel all negative thought forms that are being projected onto me. This does not have permission to enter my energy field. This does not have permission to come anywhere near me. 
you know and you simply just give it back to them with love healing and light because if people are doing things like that you have to understand that they need healing fam they're in pain they're just projecting their pain because they don't know how to heal it or because they're not willing to heal it and do the work so you just wish them healing you just wish them love and light and you continue on your journey because you are a healer you are love and light so stepping out of alignment with that is going to make you feel discord it's going to make you feel distorted in your own energy field there's no point getting distorted over what somebody else is doing to you if somebody is carrying distortion in their energy field that's on them you just have to give it back to them you take your power back you take your energy back and you remember that you are in command of your own reality so whenever it comes to other people's projections and triggers or anything that anybody outside of you or the system or the government or anything outside of you is doing you just give it back with love and light that is not on you leave it up to spirit leave it up to source leave it up to the divine to take care of that you just continue on your path you stay in alignment with your truth if you are a loving being fam this is something that i realized along my journey whenever somebody used to do something to hurt me and trigger me and something that was really you know far out to the point where it's hard not to get upset about things like that it's difficult not to get into a state of anger over certain things i would feel such discord and i would feel such misalignment over it because my true nature is to love my true nature is compassion my true nature is kindness i'm a giver i'm a caring human being i'm unconditionally loving i'm compassionate that's just how i am and along the way of life as i slowly started to shut away that aspect of me as i slowly started to shut down my heart build walls and cages around myself i realized that i had caged myself in because i wasn't allowing myself to be who i am due to the outer circumstances due to the environmental factors around me and that wasn't fair on me and i had to realize that i had to forgive myself for that and i had to release myself from that and just because other people weren't able to tap into that role of themselves or maybe that's not what they're here for in this lifetime it doesn't mean that i have to shut down myself it doesn't mean that i have to shut off who i am it doesn't mean that i have to act out of integrity with who i truly am because who i truly am is love and when i embody that that's when i'm at my best that's when i feel like i'm in alignment that's when i feel like i'm acting out of integrity and authenticity other people's pain is not your pain you must give it back to them because if you take it upon yourself you're doing them a massive disservice fam because you're never giving them the opportunity to learn their own power to grow and to expand and to heal and to evolve just like you are and that's something that i had to realize when i was carrying everybody else's burdens carrying everybody else's karma carrying around generational curses i had to realize that i had to break free of that and as i broke free and as i continue to break free of all limitations i'm breaking them free as well i'm helping them at the same time sometimes we are the people that are here to do that and help them to realize that they can do that but the only way you can help them to do that is that you just focus on the aspect of it that you have control over that has something to do with you that is directly affecting your life because as you heal from that as you grow from that then all that energetic baggage leaves you and what's not yours gets returned to wherever it came from gets returned to whoever it belongs to so that they can then take responsibility and accountability for their own work their own healing their own state of being so that was a little side note but i think it does relate to this because i know a lot of the time people do project negative thought forms there are also entities and energies out there that try to lower your vibration that try to infiltrate on your telepathic connections that try to come through and distort your energy field and bring confusion into your state of being so that you don't have a state of clarity so that you can't really utilize your vision of foresight and your power as a visionary to its fullest capacity and its fullest potential 
But when you take back your power and you realign with yourself and you keep coming back into the present moment and every time that your thoughts start to drift off, you just bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Forgive, love, send out that energy, bring that energy back to yourself. Forgive, love, and bring that energy and cultivate that energy within yourself. The more you're going to strengthen yourself, the more you're going to put up that shield of protection around you because your vibration is going to do the protecting for you. Your vibration is going to act as the energetic shield. Your vibration is going to completely repel anything that is not of your vibration. The only time that you can attract those things or those things that will affect you is if you're dwelling in the lower mind, if you're dwelling in a lower state of conscious and you're tapping into the lower realms of your mind, which is a very 3D way of thinking, the very matrix grid reality where you know, it can entail things like jealousy, envy, insecurity, doubt, worry, fear. These sorts of things only happen when you're not in your power. The only time people experience those types of emotions is when they're not in their power. They don't understand how powerful they really are. When you realize how powerful you are, that you have the ability to manifest, you have the ability to co-create, you are source in physical form, then those types of feelings, even if they come, it's very fleeting. It only lasts for a few moments and the only reason it comes is to teach you something, is to teach you how to upgrade yourself, up-level yourself, is to teach you that you are not that because you will feel the discord. You will feel the real misaligned energy in that type of thinking, in that type of being in that type of allowing because it truly is what we allow it truly is what we let into our energy field if we don't let something into our energy field it won't have access to us so cut off the access by re-accessing your own spirit re-accessing your own alignment to source consciousness every single day as many times as you need to and i say that because even though we are spirit in physical form we are also here in human bodies and we can tend to have the spiritual amnesia and spiritual naps from time to time when we forget. So when you forget, it's fine. Just let yourself go there because you're going to learn something from that experience. Because if you are on your soul's path, if you are on a healing journey, you will realign. The universe is going to make you so uncomfortable when you're down in the dumps and when you're in depression that you're not going to want to stay there for long periods of time. If you're ever having an off day, you're not going to let it turn into an off week or an off month. It's just going to be a literally an off day or an off couple of hours because it's going to feel so uncomfortable. It's going to feel so distorted that it's going to push you to come back into alignment with your expansion, with the expansion of who you have become. See, when you heal and you expand to a certain space and then you don't meet yourself there, there is a massive gap. It's that gap that makes you feel like something is off because something is off. You're off alignment. You're not with yourself. You're not meeting yourself where you are with who you've become in truth. So when you stay behind after you've expanded so much, the universe will make you so uncomfortable to the point where you're going to have to catch up. You're going to do whatever it takes to catch up. And when you get up in the morning, I get up in the morning every day and I do my aligning practices. I align. I come into a state of peace and gratitude. I come into a state of being with my source energy. And then I get up and I go out into the world and things happen. Things happen all around us and sometimes it tips me off my alignment and then I just have to come back into it. It might tip me off for an hour, it might tip me off for two hours, but then as soon as I realize how far off from myself I really am, I catch up, I come back, I breathe, I go out into nature, I surround myself with trees and animals, I surround myself with high vibrational beings, I listen to the frequencies that are going to uplift me, I dance, I sing. I bring through some light language, I heal, I do whatever I need to do to take me back into that state of oneness, of unity with myself, of self-union. So understanding this is what takes you then into the superconscious mind. And the superconscious is something that you may have accessed from time to time. This is where they say, you know, heaven is a state of mind. This is that state of bliss. This is that state of tapping into the infinite awareness, the infinite potential, the infinite consciousness that is connected to all things. This is that state where you can literally manifest something in an instant. You can manifest healing in an instant in whichever area of your life that you wish to. But in order to tap into the superconscious mind and in order to stay there for longer periods of time and be able to access that realm for longer periods of time, because it is multidimensional, 
so you can access it at any time. But in order to be able to access it for longer periods of time, you obviously need to maintain a certain wavelength, a certain frequency, a certain vibration. And to maintain that vibration, you need to release yourself of all the traumas, all the negative thought forms, all the pain, all the baggage, all the heavy, dense energies that hold you down. It's kind of like an air balloon. If it's kept on the ground with sandbags, heavy sandbags, it's not going to be able to rise. And like when you go to a little kid's birthday party or a wedding and you see those balloons that have helium in them but they're tethered to the ground by a brick. So that brick is all that heavy stuff that you're carrying around. It's all those negative thought forms. It's all those ways and habits of behavior that don't serve you. It's the addictions that lower your vibration. It's the codependency, it's the attachments to things and people and places. It's the attachment to pain and to regurgitating pain. That's the brick. As soon as you heal those layers, and it happens in layers, fam, it really does. That's why Spirit guided me on this platform to channel in this way, to bring through the light languages that are guided by Spirit, not by anybody else, but by Spirit, because Spirit knows what needs to come through and when, and when I'm ready for it to come through me. So I can't push or shove or force anything because that would be me going out of alignment. That would be me stepping out of my sovereign state in order to people please and go back into the same matrix grid reality that I've broken out of. It's like jumping out of one box and going into an even bigger box thinking that you have more room but you're still boxed in, you know? So that's why Spirit had me do it in this way on this channel and I'll continue to do it in the way that Spirit guides me to because all the heavy stuff, you'll notice it's all the heavier dense energies, the traumatic energies, the painful stuff that has come through first that needs to be released and here, here and there in between you'll see little joy frequencies and strength and power and things like that to help us stay elevated throughout the healing process but most of it is the heavy dense stuff because that's the stuff you need to get rid of in order to be able to align with the super conscious mind in such a way that you can stay there more of the time that you can just operate from that energy field you can operate from a higher state of being you can operate from your higher self and embody your higher self fully and completely without ever feeling like you're separated from it or you're detached from it or you're different from it so it is about releasing that separation consciousness and coming into a full state of unity by releasing all that trauma and baggage and when you can come into that state then that brick automatically falls off and the balloon rises and it continues to rise and if you let it go out into the sky you see how the balloon goes all the way past the clouds and you can't even see it anymore you don't even know it's gone into the ethers and so that's what it feels like to go into your super conscious mind you travel off into the infinite dimensions and infinite realms but in order for us to really do that and access that field and stay in that field and some of you have accessed it some of us have actually been there, some of us know what it feels like, some of us understand that bliss and that state of instant healing, that state of being in a state of complete love for all things, complete acceptance, seeing everything through the eyes of Source, feeling everything as Source feels it, feeling that infinite, eternal, unconditional love for self and for all others, just unconditional love. You don't even have self in that moment. Self just kind of dissolves in that period of time because you just become love. You just become energy in its purest form. You just remember yourself as source in that moment. And so my wish is that we all can experience this and we all can go there and stay there for longer periods of time. And as a human race, we can really become the embodiment of who we are, which is spirit in physical form. We can start to behave from that space, behave from a high vibrational space, start to operate from unity rather than war consciousness and separation consciousness. And we can align with that as a species and be there for more of the time. And when we can do that, we can share this planet with animals, with trees, with birds, with bees, with everything that exists on this planet in such coherence and such coexistence that Mother Gaia will finally be seen for what it is. This world will finally be seen for the beautiful place that it really is. So with that said, I just felt like that needed to come through in this channeling so strongly, so I shared that. And again, when we're coming to this negative thought forms, the subconscious, 
they're subliminal. Sometimes you might have listened to certain subliminal programs and not known what was being said in the background. That's why it's very important to know that you are receiving subliminal programs from a trusted source, from people that you know that have your highest and best intentions in mind. You know, it can be things that you adapted from childhood, things that you adapted when you went to school, things that you started to think about yourself because of the traumas that you went through. A lot of the time it is a trauma response to have negative thought forms. For example, if people left you out or people treated you like an outsider, then you could have believed that you were not good enough. If people always told you that you were the sick child, then you could have started believing that you were a sick person. If people always told you that you can't do anything, you'll never amount to anything, then you could have actually started to believe that. And so these are the negative thought forms that every time you heal, you up-level, you upgrade, they're going to start to come through in the form of doubt, in the form of fears. They're going to show up and they're going to try to beat you down. They're going to try to tell you that you can't do something. They're going to try to tell you that, yes, you are sick and you're useless and you're helpless and you're powerless and you can't do anything about it. But we're going to reframe all that now. We're going to transmute that energy. We're going to alchemize it into pure positive energy and we're going to say you are a powerful being. You are a healthy being. You have the ability to heal yourself in any given moment. As soon as you catch yourself and you become consciously aware in the moment that you're having a negative thought form, for example, if your eyesight is going bad and you start to think, you know, my eyesight is going really bad, in that moment that you catch it, tell yourself, I have 20-20 vision. I see the world clearly. I see the world through the eyes of source. I have clear inner sight, therefore I have clear outer sight. If you're having bodily ailments, if you're having any sicknesses or diseases in your body, if you're having pain in your body and you start to think about it, then in that moment, as soon as you become consciously aware that you're thinking that way about it, then reframe that thought. My body is healthy. My body is strong. I embody divine power. I embody divine strength. I am confident and courageous. I heal myself. All of my organs are functioning in perfect, optimal, divine health. And the way that you can do this is by listening to affirmations. If you continue to listen to affirmations and you continue to say them out, you continue to tell yourself anytime something negative happens, before you internalize it, before you allow that energy to take over your body and your mind and take over your energy field, tell yourself, only good will come from this experience. Even if it's a really disturbing experience, only good will come from this experience. If something disturbs your spirit, it is a huge indicator. It's your mood that's indicating to you if you feel disturbed and distraught. That is your mood acting as a compass, as an indicator that something is not right in that situation and that you have the power to transmute and alchemize it into something that feels better. Because a huge aspect in manifesting, and I feel like this is even bigger than our thoughts and bigger than the words that we say, is how we feel. Our moods, how we feel. Your mood is a huge indicator. So how you feel on the inside is going to tell you everything. Your heart, the more you can connect to your heart and open up your heart space, the more you can free yourself from all those cages and limitations and all those barriers that you've put up to quote-unquote protect yourself. It protected you from the bad for a certain period of time, but it was protecting you from your good. It was protecting you from your abundance. It was blocking off your blessings. It was acting as a barrier, as a shield, as a guard to all the goodness, to all the greatness that you have cultivated vibrationally that you are now ready to receive. So the more you can tap in and tune into your heart and clear your heart and heal your heart and release yourself from all that pain, the more you're going to be able to truly feel what you're feeling, allow yourself to process it, allow it to release, and then immediately tell yourself only good will come of this situation. Allow those feelings and those moods to process through you. Don't run from them, don't try to suppress them, don't try to turn to something that's going to numb it down and switch it off because when we do that we just shove it down even deeper and it becomes even more of a core wound it becomes even more of a stronghold in our energy field it gathers more momentum so the best thing you can do in that moment when something negative is happening and you feel disturbed and you feel misaligned feel that really sit with it feel it ask yourself why you're feeling it 
Ask yourself where you're feeling it. Go to those spaces. Put your hands on those spaces because your hands have healing abilities, fam. Everybody has the ability to do Reiki. Everybody has the ability to do light language. Everybody has power centers in their hands. So place your hands on that space wherever it is and bring healing, bring love. Just feel. If you don't want to speak it out, you don't have to speak it out. If you don't want to think about it, don't think about it. Just feel that love is being directed to those places it's being generated in those spaces and it's completely repairing and restoring that area just feel that and then say to yourself only good can come of this situation only good lies ahead of me only good lies before me everything is always working out for me all is well my universe always bends in my favor life supports me in every possible way the more you can shift into these kinds of thought forms the more you're going to be able to rewrite and reprogram and rewire your subconscious mind you're going to become more discerning more consciously aware in your conscious mind and as you release and you let go and you move out of being in a state of the lower mind because you're raising your frequency as you're doing this every single time you do this every single time you go through these healings and these tower moments and these big breakthroughs you're going to access the superconscious and the infinite field at greater levels for longer periods of time it's all about elevating yourself elevating your mind elevating your thoughts coming out of the lower paradigms and accessing a higher version of yourself, continuing to expand, continuing to grow, continuing to transform, continuing to change, continuing to be open to life so that even your beliefs can change at any moment because beliefs are just thoughts you continue to think. It's just thoughts that we've been programmed and over and over and over again. We're just running the same tape on loop. So you can change your belief at any moment. If you had a belief that you weren't good enough, but then you look at yourself in the mirror one day and you have that breakthrough and you realize, dude, I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm full of love. I'm full of light. I'm full of potential. I'm full of greatness. I'm full of radiance. I am source in physical form. The God, the source, the creator, the spirit that I pray through is me and I am that. Shiva Hum. There is a saying in the very end of the Devokadev Mahadev, which is a series, and if you've ever been drawn to Shiva or you resonate with Shiva, I would highly recommend you watch that series. At the very end of it, Shiva says, And what that means is, Don't look for me. Just know me, feel me. I am you and you are me. So for those of you who understand Hindi, I will uh, link that video down below because it's very profound what he says at the end of that series. And even for those of you who don't understand Hindi, you can watch that series. It has English subtitles in it and it's one of the most beautiful series that I was ever led to on my journey and guided to watch. One of the most profound in a way of really understanding spirituality in a much more expansive way than what we have been taught even just in normal day-to-day -day society in the new age and all that kind of stuff so with that said guys i'm going to channel this light language transmission through so my deepest intention for this channeling and this light language is that it comes through in such a way that it helps you to dissolve let go of and repel any negative thought forms from in and around your mind, your body, your energetic and auric fields, your electromagnetic fields, your multidimensional aspects. And it helps you to really come into a state of knowing your power, to becoming consciously aware, to having the ability to reprogram your thoughts in any given moment and knowing that you have the power to do so and to accessing the infinite field of consciousness and accessing your super conscious mind when you feel that you are in alignment and resonate with it and ready to do so. Let's begin. Place your hands in front of your heart space in prayer position and set your own personal intention for today's healing of any areas that you are consciously aware of 
that are or have been affecting your thought forms in any way that does not serve you to your highest good. Alternatively, you may repeat this intention that I have personally set in your mind for yourself for your highest good. I hereby set the intention to clear and transmute, heal and fully let go of, get rid of and extract all negative toxic low vibrational distorted thought forms, intrusive thought forms and belief systems, all negative default programming and looping that I have held or created from within or that have been projected and sent to me from without. I choose to free myself of all limiting belief systems and anything, anyone, any place, people, corporation, institution, religious organizations, governments, systems, societies, pledges, oaths, vows, contracts and agreements, any bindings, any astral bindings, etheric bindings, anything that has kept me captive in this lifetime, this timeline, other timelines, previous lifetimes, incarnations, dimensions and realities, alternate realities and universes, across all time, spaces and places, I set myself free, I liberate myself, I let myself be, I am a divine being and therefore it is time that I allow myself to be. I only accept and allow into my energy fields and into my space, mind, body, soul and spirit connection that which resonates with me on a heart level, on a level of spiritual knowing, on a level of spiritual truth, on a level of soul truth, soul understanding and expansion which serves me to my highest and greatest good which is for the highest and greatest good of all. Anything that is not of the light or in alignment with my purest resonance, with my core soul frequency, with my soul signature, does not have permission to access or infiltrate or trespass upon my energy fields in any way. I demand and command anything that is not of the light Leave this premises, leave my mind, body and soul connection, leave my energetic auric fields, physical vessel, electromagnetic fields and etheric fields, astral fields. Now, go back to where you have come from. You do not have permission to be here. Clear and transmute across all time, spaces, dimensions and realities and send it back to purest source with love and light to be transmuted into pure positive gifts blessings and thought forms that are to my highest good and the highest good of the entire collective. Let's begin. Removing all distortions, illusions and delusions. Implants, imprints, overlays. Symbols, structures and templates. That have been placed on my energy fields. Mind, body, soul connection. Chakra system. Energetic and auric fields. Physical vessel. Organs. Any DNA manipulation. Astral bindings. Anywhere, 
ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಉತ್ತರ ಕೇಸ್ ನಿಂಗೆ ಯಾರು ಪಾತ್ರು ಶು ಉತ್ತರ ಕೇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ತ ಅವ್ರು ಪಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯಾ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೂತು ಕಿತ್ತನೆ ಇರತ್ತ ಆ ಡಿನೈ ಓ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯಾ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೇಸ್ ನಿಮ್ ಇವ್ರ ಇರತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಎಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೇಟ್ರಿಸೀಸ್ ನ್ಯಾ ಅವ್ರ ಕೊತ್ತು ಕೊಶ್ ನೀ ಅವ್ರ ಕತ್ತ ಕತ್ತ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಂಗ ಕತ್ತ ಕೊರ ಕೊತ್ತು ಕೊಶ್ ಕಿ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ತತ್ತ ಸನಿ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಅವ್ರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಐ ಎಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಕರ ತುಸ್ ನೀ ಅವ್ರ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮೇಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸಸ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಕಿ 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 ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ಸ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ಸನಿ ಅರ ತತ್ತ ಹರ ಕತ್ತ ಕ ಐ ಡಿಸ್ಮ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಕರ ತುಸ್ ನೀ ಅವ್ರ ದ ಔಟ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ಸ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ರ ತುಸ್ ನೀ ಅವರ ಔಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಕಿ ಕರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತ್ ಕಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಔಲ್ಡ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕತ್ತ ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿ ಕಿ 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 
to outside influences and energies tar kata 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 yara tata tar kata 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 yara tata tar kata kata yara tata tar kata kata tata tar kata kata tar kata kata to utilize my mind tar kata 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 my thought forms tar kata 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 my words tar kata 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 my codes tar kata 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 against me in any way tar kata 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 you do not have permission tar kata 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 I have the power tar kata 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 my own energy field tar kata 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 I hold the key tar kata 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 my divine destiny I reclaim all access to my true powers, gifts, and codes. To my light. To my divine birthright. I have full power, authority, and dominion over my own mind, body, soul connection, my spirit, and my energetic and auric fields, physical vessel, electromagnetic fields, etheric fields, and astral fields across all time spaces, dimensions, realities, universes, and parallel universes. Nothing and no one outside of me. Has any power or control over me? This is why I am in control of my mind, body, vessel, and soul. Anything which tries to trespass my field will be repelled and banished from my field immediately. Back to where it came from. With love, healing, and light. Anything that wishes to come into my field. With the purpose of being transmuted into the light. Is being transmuted into the light now. Anything which is coming into my field, or sent in, projected into my field, to cause chaos and destruction, delays, or to derail me from my path, or to derail me from my truth, is denied access immediately I clear and transmute and purify and cleanse all negative thought forms and intrusive thought forms, whether from within or without, into pure positive energy, creative energy, where I will utilize my divine gifts and powers. To bring love, and cultivate sacred creations, sacred creation in alignment with unity consciousness. The love vibration. Freedom for myself. Freedom for all. Happiness, joy. Revitalization and restoration for all. I am sacred. I am divine. And with this knowing, and with this wisdom, I now align. I now set the intention to seal and protect all thought forms, telepathic channels, chakras, psychic and clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, and clairsentient abilities 
from all outside influences and energies that do not serve to my highest good. I seal and protect myself, my gifts, my abilities and my divinity in the light, in the love of Source Consciousness and the Divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. Give yourself time to integrate that family. It is quite powerful. It will uh, shake up some of the old limiting belief systems and structures. Remember, a belief is just a thought that you continue to think, so your beliefs can change at any time. Uh, by no means am I trying to take you away from religion in any way. If you are a religious person, that's something that you, yourself, your spirit, your consciousness, your soul will guide you to and through uh, in your own time space reality. But I did bring that through in the beginning in the intentions that anywhere where religious dogma was used against you or religious traditions and rituals or programs, conditions, habits, behaviors or belief systems were used against you to trap you and enslave you and keep you captive and in a state of fear, that is what we're removing here. It's got nothing to do with your connection to source, your connection to the divine or your connection to what you believe to be as God in its purest form. Because when you're truly connected to source, you understand that it is the source within everything, within you and me, within the birds and the bees, within the trees, within all of existence, within all that is. So you won't separate and segregate yourself from it anymore as you'll understand that source lives within you, source is within and source is without in all things. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Your soul will only accept what you're ready for either way and what you're ready to align with and where your consciousness is at at the time. So don't worry about anything infiltrating on your field in any way. Uh, that is not my intention at all. My intention is to free you as I am freeing myself. And from there, the decisions that you make are purely based on your own connection to source and your own alignment and your own level of consciousness and where you are at on your path. With that said, take care, stay blessed, stay high vibing. I will connect with you all shortly. Peace.